Getting the best gear on Miss Iron Bar has always been the number one goal. And at the time of recording this video, we pretty much have done that. We have Full Torva, the best melee gear in the game, accompanied by good old Scythe Vitter, and we have the best magic gear, Full Ancestral with the Shao Tumikin, and finally we have the Full Missouri with the Twisted Bow. Except I don't have Full Missouri, so we need to fix that. If you guys like what you see in this coming progress video, then definitely give me a like or consider subscribing because we got a lot of other things coming up to grind because Jackix is like, you're never done. There's always new bosses coming out. Follow along with me on the journey. If you guys are wondering what your chance of getting a TOA drop is, you can actually check the old school TOA calculator. You can plug in the invocations that you have and the level invocation that you are doing and it'll give you a very close approximate of your chance so for me at 425 is around 10 percent and for me to get the body it's around one in 120 of these 425s and i've done on average over 300 of them so we are closing in on three times dry Grinding for bis items is a fun hobby but this year i want to do more for my other hobbies like traveling to japan in a few months it's a new year, which means great time to explore or refine your hobbies. Well, I have the perfect sponsor that enhances our lifestyle called Bespoke Post. They are a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome that will cater to your interests. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. Every box of awesome has around $70 or value, but you only need to pay a fraction. Here's how the service works. You'll get a box of awesome assigned to you and before shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box or three, skip the month entirely for no charge. You only pay for what you want. Let me show you what I got from Bespoke this month. The first box is the Explore box, perfect for hiking and traveling. It comes with the Nomad Packable Backpack, the M8 water bottle, a survival LED headlamp, and a toasted coconut plus vanilla bean bar. Next is the Scorch box. It comes with six different types of hot sauce ranging from mild to very hot because I'm a big fan of spicy. Finally, we have the Wet box, a perfect gift for my mama rice because she loves cooking at home. This box comes with three grades of Arkansas oil stones, a wooden storage box, premium honing oil, and a non-slip silicone base. To get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter RiceCup20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash RiceCup20. Enhance your IRL skills just like your Rs character with a Bespoke Post subscription. I could definitely get used to this easy B. Ever since the CA Diaries buffed the Thrall Timers, which means I use twice as less prayer to summon Thralls, it's been really nice because I don't have to bring as many supplies, which means more inventory space for firepower. And ever since using CZB for the speedrun task, I realized I could totally bring it for my normal runs now that I have space. It's super, super good at the Crocodile and the Wardens, especially Obelisk and the last phase of warden and it's also pretty good at akka it's okay at baba and okay at kefri they do tank it quite a bit so landing a bgs tends to be much more important so i always try to open with bgs though every boss except akka because it regens stats too quick and warden because it's super weak to range already i actually skipped the entire set of meteors damn that's like crossbow back to back just hit this last bit yeah i think that's a pb right there that's actually crazy. I definitely don't think I've mastered the setup yet, but I'm definitely getting faster times though. Nice. The CZB with the BGS seems to be truly, truly the the dynamic duo, you know? <gasps> oh, it's my purple, even though I died. <laughs> oh, come on. What is it? It's a ward. <laughs> right before bed, what do I get? Hmm. Ah, all right, all right. Okay. Looks like we are fated to get the top on stream, huh? Oh, they got stuck. Idiot. 
Yo, look at these guys. Oh my god. The one time it's actually a benefit to uh, have the blood and that at the same time. 60 agility? I was doing some barrels earlier for collection lock for a break, and Carol's drained my agility way too low. That requires agility levels? Oh, that's hilarious. I never knew. Oh, hell yeah. I haven't gotten dragon dart tips in so long, dude. Let's go. Oh, actually, yeah. Past 400 experts recently. Let's see what happens. You know, we're we're getting somewhere past the 3x mark for the body, so... I'm guessing 4x or 5x for this body, and uh, that would be a reasonable wrap-up for me. Oh, God. Oof. Oof. That was close. Looking back on this clip, I actually failed the skulls, but I got super lucky, and I wooks walked past the explosion tiles. I must have over a thousand now. Oh, I do. Wow, cleared it. A thousand one hundred toe flex. All right, I'm gonna take a... Oh, purple, let's go. First purple in like a week. Hell yeah, let's go. It's been a while. This is what a normal grind feels like, you know? Spent a week at raids to get a drop, but uh... Yeah, I can't say that for TOA, but this this is definitely one of those times. Let's see what we get. Let's see. Here we go, boys. Oh my god, we actually got it. Missouri body. Holy shit, boys. We freaking did it. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. We go one week dry for the last purple. Let's get it. Sweet. Oh, Missouri. Nice, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh, I gotta fortify this, though. So, TOA isn't exactly quite over yet, just like many of my other bosses, because of the collection log stuff nowadays. But, for Rage 3, I would love to get the pet and the transmogs, of course. Because I have all the other Raids pets and their transmogs, so I'll definitely try my best to do more of this from time to time, but definitely not as frequent. New bosses are coming out pretty soon, so that'll be our upcoming main grind, so let's check the stats real quick. So the offensive stats are already there. 43 range accuracy, 4 range strength, that's crazy, that's a new max hit with my blowpipe, that is at least 3 max hits with the twisted bow up to. Just because of this thing right here. Crazy. And the defenses aren't that good when it's not fortified. So we're going to fortify this bad boy. Hell yes. There we go. Fortify. Look at that. 74 magic defense. Oh my god. No negative melee stats. Amazing. This is going to be so good for Corp. At the time of recording this clip, I now have the best armor setups in all of Old School RuneScape for all styles and pretty much all situations we have the best melee armor in the game in general which is full torva we have the best magic gear in the game which is ancestral and we also have some other things like inquisitor best crush melee setup in the game and things like crystal armor which has his niches and void which has his niches but ultimately the best overall range setup in the game as well which is Full Missouri. So we'll be using the newly acquired Full Missouri pretty much everywhere. Anytime I range, is going to be predominantly Missouri. There will be a few times where it might be Void or it might be Crystal, but like 90 plus percent of the time, it's going to be Missouri, guys. Now the range setup looks perfect to match the Golden Assembler Max Cape 2. So Armado is now pretty much defunct for me as Missouri is just better than it in every single way in range accuracy, in range strength, and magic defense. And speaking of magic defense, it means things like Carol's is also defunct for me because I would use those sometimes because it didn't give negative melee stats, but Missouri doesn't give negative melee stats either. So yeah, goodbye to Carol's as well. Oh my god, back to back actually happened. Okay, all right, I was about to say, you know, I was about to say. Uh, okay, all right, the back-to-back's over. It's time to head over to Corp because we've always had some unfinished business there, but the particular item 
And now that I have full Missouri, we can now use the best setup for solo court possible in the game. Now, let's talk about the differences between Armadillo and Missouri, because I think Corp is a great example of showcasing everything that the Missouri has over Armadillo. So first of all, we're going to look at range accuracy, magic defense, and also the melee stats, right? So Armadillo does have some negative stats for melee, so I do lose a bit. I lose about 13 with the top and bottom, which affects my Corp a teeny tiny bit. In the long run but the missouri i also gain it back right there's no negative melees and the range accuracy is also better instead of the 170 it'll be a 187 so that's really nice that's huge because when i use the czb spec in the long run i'll land more specs and also on top of that you have the magic stats of course it was 150 before and now it is 160 so that's also nice so better accuracy in melee range and more defense in magic as well so and also melees too i forgot to mention a little bit more on the melees huge upgrade for this method so not including the two quests that will be coming out this year which will feature new bosses and drops you might be wondering what are some of the best in slot items left for mr iron bar and there's really only two we're not going to talk about rare items like dragon plate bodies and dragonfall home so in terms of actual theoretical best in slot items there's two from bosses. The first one I don't have is still the Spectral. A lot of people think I have full sigils on court, but I never got the Spectral after 3,000 plus kills. Never happened. Over 2x try for that. And also, one other drop, the Harm Orb from the Nightmare. And that's basically best in software Ice Demon, and that's it. Especially because Shadow exists. But those two exist and i would love to get them because obviously might as well collect all of the best slots because i'm so close so we'll try to work on that a lot more now especially now i have the best of the best gear available so it's perfect and there's some other things too like the three tick stab weapon from lms or like the three tick crush weapon from i believe easy clues the ham join and uh well i forgot the other dagger's name but those i guess i could get those too but they're much easier i guess and uh, yeah, it's time to showcase some corpse. So with this new setup, I think it is possible for me to get up to 10 kills an hour under extremely good circumstances like me playing well and RNG is good. And I would love to be able to show you guys 10 kills an hour solo Iron Man Corp. It's always been a dream to hit double digits. So with this new setup, full Missouri combo, I think it is possible. You know, all these updates and all this new gear might just make it happen. I'll try my best. All right, well, I just finished making the PVM Bible 2. In the process of that, I made 15,000 carambons, like, fished it afk and cooked it AFK. So, yeah, we can do some sick court with this, no problem. Tank. Holy shit, holy tank right now. Holy tank. Oh my god, we did it. Please. What is the kill? What is the number? 9.8? 9.9! Oh my god. We all we basically did it though. Holy shit. Average kill 602. Wow. Okay. Damn, that's such a tease, bro. Couldn't couldn't get to 10, but I'm happy with that. Alright. We we basically did it. I'm happy with that. Okay, back to just doing it normally. I'm not gonna use the blood fairy. But I think the blood fairy was kind of necessary for that. But uh, yeah, it didn't take me too many tries to get a near 10 kills an hour with this setup and strategy and all this new gear. I remember back when we first did corp with what we had at the time. And it was maybe like five kills an hour if you were like super sweaty. So it's amazing to see that uh, now it's way better. I will be more than happy to try to get the spectral of course now that is this fast and uh, another showcase now is full missouri at the giant mole so i should be getting at least two max hits with the tebow at giant mole and yeah i always need bruce so it's always good to go there so i want to see how much better we can do at mole i think i used to get around 80 kills an hour so i wonder if we can get a lot better because missouri is quite the upgrade so holy shit Full Missouri Jamo is so nice, man. 
God damn. Definitely notice will be better than the shadow now, even without dragon arrows. Whereas with shadow, I was using literally the best setup. And this isn't even the best arrow with Missouri, and it's still definitely noticeably better. So before I talked about using the CCB at the giant mole for last hits and uh, it's really good because the hit rate with the spec is like 90 plus percent so i only use it when i have a spec every few kills and i think the drying stone bolts is actually pretty good since it'll proc and hit pretty high on the boss uh, i forgot who told me but someone in the youtube was like yeah this should work pretty good i was using diamond dragons and yeah they're about the same it seems like so i can use these instead watch this boom should be a guarantee ko 90 plus percent spec accuracy i think my base auto hit is probably like 70 percent though so yeah it's sizable definitely will save me a few digs an hour which definitely saves time anyways we did an hour and uh it's 88 kills an hour holy shit with this setup that's actually crazy that's quite a lot more than with armadale i think i was getting around 80 an hour so yeah that's like a 10% increase or something, yeah? Really nice, really nice. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference, but I guess the extra accuracy on top of the max sets is big. So, that big here. I can't believe they updated the Sandwich Lady so that it gives you a chance at a stale baguette if she makes you choose baguette. Let's go! Got this kite shield. Hell yeah, it's been a bit since I've gotten any... uh. Collection log slots 657. Boom. What's next? Oh, furry ornamentkin. Hey, another one. I actually have a. That's cool. That's cool. Nice. That's nice. Hell yeah. Now I can make another one. I'll just make another fury to be honest. Nice. Do we get another collection log slot today or what? I already got two, so we're gonna go with the badoodle though. Badoodle. Oh my god. No way. I actually did. Nice. Uh, that's a dupe, though. A of the gods. Let's go. Uh, dude. That's my third one. I got two of these before the collection log, I guess. Nice, dude. Let's see if we get another uh, unique item. Oh, we did. Oh my god. Four. Dude, 660 now. Let's go. Blue scarf. The clue scrolls. Here we go. Good. Good. No. Damn it. Nothing good. What about this hard clue? What do we get? Oh, collection log slot. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. The rune kite shield G. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Another slot. What do we got here? 662. Cool. Next is medium. Nothing. Nothing good. Next is easy. Oh, what? Black pickaxe is a clue scroll? Unique. Oh my god, I, I totally forgot. That's so so funny. First unique? Nope. I, I haven't gotten any beginner uniques yet. Rip. But I've only done three. Next. Armadale Coif, let's go. We got a uh, new collection slot. Oh, it's Armadale Plate Legs is actually the slot. I thought this was just normal rune legs. Okay, and we have the Master. Oh, let's go. Another, another slot. Robot of Darkness. Oh, wow. Okay, some of these never made it, but that's sick. Two slots, just like that. We're at 665 now. Let's get it. So I used to wear this at Chambers when uh, going for the Incestral Legs. Because <laughs> it took 2,000 Chambers, and I didn't want to use Aram's robes anymore. I hated how heavy the Aram's robes were, so... Well, this is our only clue scroll that I have right now, so... Insta-guaranteed collection loss slot. Boom. I knew it, see? I didn't I can't even tell what it is, but apparently there's a slot. <laughs> when you see that pop up, you know that's a new item. Alright, but doodle, haven't used it all day. Oh my god. Wait, we got something, actually. Ha ha ha. Two freaking uh clue scroll slots today, just doing most random stuff. Alright, where we get? Oh wait, let's see. Let's see what happens, boys. Oh shit! <laughs> a Missouri body. Okay, we got a dupe Missouri body. Sick. Even though I went three extra try for the first one. Yay. Now I, now I have two in the bank. Let's see what we're splitting tonight, boys. Oh, do you guys want a split of this? We don't count this, right? We don't count this. We don't count this. Yeah, no pet. Rip. 
And to wrap up this video, it's time to talk about the overall loot from completing all of the race 3 purples. But overall, we got 50 uniques. I think we ended up getting body at around unique 47. But yeah, I did get a few more after that. So 50 total. And that is in 543 tombs of amuskets. So my average level for those tombs was probably around level 380. I did a lot of level 425s. At least half of it was 425 towards the end, but the other half was like lower. So probably like 380, which is probably around a one in, I'd say 14, 13, getting more purples than average. A bit more, like maybe 20% more. So pretty lucky on that. Of course, the shadow overall, you know, we got three of them, which is definitely really lucky. If anything, tops two on average. But yeah, we got 17 rings. Crazy. 17 light bearer rings only half of that in the fang even though they're the same rate so yeah we got stupid lucky on the rings and we also got a ton of seeds so we got a lot of toll flags a lot of torsos a lot of ranars and i believe snapdragons those are all amazing seeds for iron man but uh, at this point i don't think i will use up remotely anywhere near the amount of seeds that <laughs> that i will get the herbs from farming so yeah it's just good to know we have plenty for future bossing though um other noticeable things is uh the blood essence that's 125k worth of blood runes and blood essence 40k soul runes maybe a bit more from the cash i got 59 caches which contains assortment runes so it could be anything and yeah there's some other stuff but i'm not gonna go through all of it you guys get the idea that was six bill in total as of recording the prices will change but yeah we got six build total off of that but that's it thanks for watching guys make sure if you like the video and want to see more progress from me especially with new content coming out give me that subscription and that like but otherwise i'll see you guys soon bye